Hello folks, welcome to another unboxing video on my channel. This one's very special, but then again, I think they're all pretty special. Otherwise I wouldn't do an unboxing video. This is Paul McCartney's seven inch singles box set. This was released back in December uh, last year, 2022. Uh, it was announced and within a few days it sold out. And I was umming and ahhing about this and I have to say, I couldn't decide what to do. Because I thought, oh, it's a lot of money. Do I really want a lot of seven inch singles? I've got a record player and I do uh, play vinyl quite a lot. But I wasn't too sure whether this was going to fit within my collection. Um, but I thought, yeah, I'm going to buy it. Took the plunge. And by the time I decided, it had actually sold out in the UK store. So I looked at the US store and found that actually it was the same price, but they included shipping. I'm in New Zealand and shipping is often prohibitive, so I was really pleased uh, that I was able to get a copy. So, this box arrived, it took a little while, but it did arrive while I was on holiday and uh, kept in the courier place, um, and I went to pick it up after I got back. Now, it did arrive with this rather ominous hole in the cardboard box, and there's a similar one on the other side, although not as deep. So I'm hoping that everything is as it should be inside because this is in a wooden crate apparently so I'm a bit worried about what it's going to look like when I open it up but anyway we will see uh, the other burning question I have in my mind is what's the number of my copy is it this one there are 3,000 copies or 3,000 boxes made and is this my number 1924 maybe um, and also the other burning question I have is each box has a, a test pressing a special white label test pressing selected at random so is it going to be my love band on the run or the frog chorus we will find out you'll find out at the same time as i do so here's the box it came in and we will unbox it see what's inside i'm not going to do a full um go through every vinyl single that's in here because there are plenty of other videos uh, on YouTube that show that. I'd recommend um, a couple. Uh, Andrew Dixon's channel has done a really good uh, in-depth boxing, unboxing, and also Super Deluxe Edition. Uh, Paul's video is excellent, so you'll get to see um, more detail on that. So, there is the box. Looks like it's reasonably well protected. Take that. Pull the styrene stuff out. Considering it's come all the way from, I think this came from New York, it looks like, if I look down inside, looks like it's done all right right i will take there's a slip of paper in there i'll see if i can get it out there we go so that by the looks is a complete listing of the 80 singles that are included as part of this box so there's 80 singles uh totaling about 10 hours of uh, listening time if you want to get up for 10 hours and keep changing the singles this is the one for you uh, 15 of these uh, singles have never been released in the seven inch format and as i said before each one of these box sets should include a, um, a limited edition white pressing test pressing um, selected at random so we'll find out what we've got so it's pretty heavy So there we go. There is the box. And it looks like it's in one piece. There you go. 8.3 kilos. And yeah, there we go. 1924 out of 3000. So, so first two questions answered. We know it's arrived, at least the box has arrived in a good, uh, good state. And it looks like I've got 1,924 out of 3,000, which is not bad. 
and I have to work out how to undo these. I really like the way they package this. I think it's awesome. I mean, they could have just stuck them um, in some kind of container, but they've really put a lot of thought into this. And there's a really good unboxing, or rather there's a really good video on YouTube, which I'll put a link to in the description, um, which shows you how they make these boxes. These were made in the UK and then sent to France um, for final assembly. Wow, look at that. So there's a good bit of padding in there. McCartney Productions Limited on the box. And there are all the singles. So there's a, let me take this out, bit of padding at the end. And here's a book which tells you about every single, oh, it's a forward from Paul. Beautiful 1015 jukebox, well, it's a jukebox. An intro by Rob Sheffield. Some great pictures in here as well. Yeah, that's great. And then it goes into detail on each of the, um, I've actually got the Japanese one already. <laughs> I remember buying that at a record fair years ago. Um, so many of these I would have bought when they came out. I remember buying Muller Kintyre along with the rest of the world's population outside of the US. Um, yeah, maybe I'm amazed um, from Wings Over America. So yeah, great looking book. And here we go, the white label test pressing. It says here, Paul McCartney, seven inch, seven inch singles box set, white label test pressing. Test pressings are created to ensure a record doesn't contain any unwanted artifacts such as audio pops or scratches. If an issue occurs, it's reviewed, corrected, and then repressed for approval. This exclusive test pressing was created during the production of the seven inch singles box. So let's open the envelope. Drum roll, please. And I can't get it out. Tension's building. There we go. Ah, this is um, getting closer and baby's request from Back to the Egg. Um, so it's not actually labeled on the disc itself, but the outer sleeve tells you what it is. That's pretty cool. I love those tracks, actually. I'm pleased about that. I love Back to the Egg, actually. In fact, the next thing, if you're watching, Paul, would really like to see Back to the Egg reissued. Maybe, maybe London Town and Back to the Egg is a double. Um, and just a quick flick through so you can see um, some of the singles. I'm not going to do this uh, for everyone, but you can see these are beautifully done. Another day, Paul's. First single from 1971, his first post Beatles single. That looks gorgeous. Pop that back in there. Just pick them at random. Mary Had a Little Lamb. I actually bought that at a record fair as well. Dear me. Um, Mrs. Vanderbilt and Bluebird. With a little luck from London Town. See if I can find it. There you go. So that's the um, that's the version in the box of this of the white uh, white label pressing. Getting closer than baby's request. Paul goes all new wave. Um, the much maligned frog chorus. Love it really. Spies like us, which I had the picture disc off somewhere. All the way through the eighties. And up to date, the last couple here from McCartney 3, uh, Find My Way, Winter Bird, When Winter Comes, and then the Women and Wives 7-inch single. 
So I think that's a pretty impressive set. I was so pleased I was able to get hold of a copy um, after dithering about it, because sometimes you dither about these things and then live to regret, regret it uh, when you miss out. So um, let me know in the comments below what you think about this box set. Did you manage to get your own copy? Do you think it was overpriced and a bit overhyped? Anyway, let me know what you think. Let me know what your favorite Paul McCartney single was from this box set. Thanks for watching. If you did like it, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.